Hi there, I'm Amira Hall, quantum energy expert. Have you ever wondered if your vibes were hurting or helping you? You know, a lot of people aren't aware that from the time they're little children, they match the energy of everybody around them. So from a very small, maybe before you're crawling, certainly before you're verbal, you are copying or matching the energy of mama and papa, brothers and sisters, aunties and uncles, and as we grow, we continue to match our teachers, our friends, everybody in our life. We match society around us. So we do and we think and we copy, and the funny thing is, the whole time we think we're being me or you're being you. Well, it's quite actually the opposite. And so you go about your life and you're behaving or matching or doing things. Maybe you're going to college that your parents picked for you, or maybe they picked your major in college. Maybe you followed the family lines and became a doctor or a lawyer or a teacher. So everybody in the family does the same things. And regardless if you didn't do that particular thing, but maybe you sound just like your sisters or your mother. I know when, when I was a teenager, we'd pick up the phone and my aunties oftentimes didn't know if it was me or one of my sisters. So, and later in life, they even thought that I was my mother answering the phone. So we match even the tone of voice. We match even the way we walk. Maybe you've seen a little child get up and practice or walk, just like daddy or, or one of their siblings. So as much as we find this amusing, what we're doing is we're taking on foreign energies. Now besides those people that we know, there's a lot of invaders, call them entities. And being in the season of Halloween, you know, the topic is hot right now, of all the scary goblins and ghosts, but certainly I live my life, uh, or the work I do, with facing ghosts and goblins in everybody's energy field all year long. So this isn't a happy celebration necessarily for me. In fact, what it does is it gives way more of the ghosts and goblins from our energy field to come to spring out into action. And that's in effect what I see Halloween as, as sort of an and acting out of the entities and the beings that are already residing in your auric field. So let me back up a little bit. And I, I mentioned something about um, foreign beings and invaders. And so there's beings that I see on a regular basis, such as control beings. I know that the snake beings or spider beings, they come in and they try and destroy certain aspects of our life. Certainly, I see that reptilians or snake beings, they control money on the planet. And every one of us are tangled up with this game of money on the planet, trying to hold it or, or spend it or make more of it. So people come to me and they often ask, you know, why can't I seem to hang on to this money? Um, oftentimes, I can see entities or beings in their energy field. On the other hand, there's other beings that have come to live with you in your energy field and they're so familiar to you, you don't even know they're there. One of them is what I call a control being. Now, oftentimes, control beings are, are beings that where you always want to have your way or you're, maybe you're not even subtle with it, but you always manage to manipulate or uh, direct things um, or have things in a particular order. And you probably have someone in your life like that. And um, so there's a lot of reasons that these beings stay anchored in our space. And it is usually negative thoughts, fears, doubts, uh, Low-lying vibrations are typically those energies that keep these beings intact and in our energy field. And, and what happens is we're creating with them, shall we say. And I will have to say that a lot of times we're creating not necessarily the things that we think we want. Do you think you're living your life? Or, or have you ever, has it ever dawned on you that you might even be living something that you're not? You know, just like you, I grew up being me, and I went about my life thinking all the choices I made were things that I truly desired. And it wasn't until my father's death 
that I started to realize that I had spent most of my life making decisions for his approval or for validation from my dad. And what I realized was that I wasn't living my life for me. And I was all of a sudden lost in in having to make choices. And, oh my gosh, what do I really want? Who am I really? And that started my journey. Yes, I was I was born a brunette. <laughs> oh, so this living my life as me does not look at all anymore like it did in the past. And how that happened, how my transformation occurred, was through beginning with the energy work and learning that most of my energy was foreign energy. And beginning slowly, working the energy, processing the energy, releasing, releasing, releasing. I can't talk enough about the grounding cord and running foreign uh, different energies through your body such as cosmic and earth energies, and consciously directing energy to allow the original essence, your original blueprint to surface, to come to the surface to allow you to be all of you. And as you get to free yourself from the embodiment of all these beings and entities and foreign energies and invaders and all the goblins and ghosts of... uh, maybe lifetimes, karmic, uh, parents, our parents' beliefs and their ideas, their thoughts. Not, a, not to make our parents wrong or bad. It's just that their thoughts and their beliefs and their ways of living for themselves and their life is not what our Creator has in mind for you. Each of us has a very specific um, path and purpose. And so by that, in clearing these foreign energies, we get closer to the truth of who we are and our life purpose. So the whole goal is for you on your path to get closer to who you really are, the truth of who you are. And honestly, 95% of the population doesn't really know who that is. So we start. We start with one step and we put our one foot in front of the other. And the process of clearing negative beliefs and outmoded thoughts and foreign beliefs uh, or ideas um, is the journey of getting closer and closer to the essence of who you are. And so I can... Uh, vouch for the process and the joy in in getting closer to to who you really are really getting you know igniting that passion within you the spark of life and love is all deep within you and that magical ability to manifest is there too so i encourage you to use the energy tools on my site and the channel here to um, sign up for that free energy assessment on my website and certainly log in and sign up for the free love up your life ebook and guided meditation so um with all of me i can only say um happy halloween and uh enjoy the journey of saying hello to your shadow and the beings that are running your life and not letting you take the take the lead so Here's to you taking the lead. Blessings.